be here when we are at the beginning of the our academic exams and semester exams. And as you know, the agenda for the today's uh, today's UGPM is decision and discussion. Decision and discussion on current developments in campus after the demise of Rohit Kumar. I would like to brief the incidents happening in the campus and uh, the, which leads to the death of Rohit Kumar. And after the incident of the Rohit Kumar, uh, how was the campus? And in the, the recent developments inside of campus. As you know, a disciplinary action again was taken against five Delhi research scholars, which include Rohit Kumar. On a proctoral board, there was two proctoral boards. The first one says that the both parties should be won and that there is no great evidence to take an act action against any other party. At that time itself, the students having a having comment against that by asking, without doing anything, how you can fund the invest uh, fund the students. Then later on the second Rutland Board report came into picture which says that one party should be punished and these five that is students who were suspended from the, from the university for the one semester. At that point itself, the different students organization and all the students of the university of Hyderabad together questioned that kind of a biased action and we we questioned on the point that how mutually the mutually different total report can be given on the same issue happened. By considering uh, by considering that point in consideration, University of Hyderabad Vice Chancellor decided to do a fresh inquiry on the on the same topic. And a committee was constituted to inquire about the about the incident happened on the or August uh, August third and but later on, we get to know that that committee itself was suspended and there will not be any fresh inquiry on the issues happening inside the campus. By believing the administration, when, they, when the administration said that there will be a fresh inquiry, we believed it completely. But later on, when Professor Aparao came as the Vice Chancellor of the University of Hyderabad, an Executive Council subcommittee was constituted and they they inquired into the, into the situation. That word inquiry itself was really problematic in the sense these mutually different protocol board reports were taken into consideration and without even having a fresh inquiry or even informing those students, the executive subcommittee decided to suspend these students from the hostels. And uh, meanwhile, some fraction of the students, especially from the ABP side, they try to influence the influence the case by involving the ministry, ministers. And there you know the there you know the, the background details in which one of the MLC came into the university and threatening to the threatening the university vice chancellor. And Union Minister Bandar Dattatreya was sending the letter to the MHRD by saying that university become a den of the castes, extremist and anti-national activities and action should be taken against these students and by considering that letter into, into the belief MHRD sent continuous letters to the University of Hyderabad. As you know, the letter from the MHRD cannot be considered in a very simple way. It has its own implications and those letters we, this, those letters played an important role in the decision making of the executive council subcommittee and they decided to suspend these students from the hostels. And the nature of the punishment itself was really, really problematic. In the university history, this will be the first time such kind of an action is taken against a group of the students. And this, this sort of the punishment shows the caste nature of the SU administration Led by the Professor Aparao Kudilin. And 
and how they will deal with the deal with the students. And uh, you can see that these students should not come to the shop coming by in group. They should not go to the seminars other than their, their department seminars. They should not interfere into the election procedures. They should not come to the uh, academic academic build, uh, administration building. And in this sense, whatever the rights which is given to the students by the UGC were completely denied by the by the by this this committee. On this regard, students' union on the 11th of January submitted a letter by asking the administration, "Can you give 200 lashes as the punishment for these students?" And if you can't do that, you cannot do this part also, because you cannot violate the rights of the students. And if, you, if there is a case, even you can you can take part in the election procedure, where because we are following the Lindo committee reports. But here, an inquiry committee deciding to decided that these students should not be involved in any of such activities. And as you know, in the in the letter. Wrote by written by the Rohit Bhumila. He was clearly mentioning that he was not getting the fellowship for the last seven months. By even if if we have the such kind of a situation, when you deny such one student from the administration to come and have a discussion with the uh, other officials, is a clear cut humiliation. It's a discrimination towards that student. It's a part of the university uh, university community. We always used to be in the administration for the several things, several several reasons, and there we know that how it is, how difficult is that you can learn something from the from the administration, and there you are denying that right to the student, and in that way, university shows its great casteist attitudes towards the students, and on that regard, just after taking this action on the December 18. Rohit Bhumila wrote a letter to the university vice chancellor by saying that instead of dealing the uh, the Dalits and other marginalised section students in this way, you can give, give a give a rope or a slow poison when these students are getting the admission itself. And this shows what amount of the stress he was going through. And the same university administration, when such a letter was accepted, it was counter signed by the VC's office. No option or no inquiry was happened on that. Their mentality were taken not taken into consideration, and all the students' organisation met VC twice on the same issue, and we from the students' union also appealed to the administration to look into the matter, but university vice chancellor ignored all the appeals, and we were several times students' union representatives. Denied the appointment, even if we given him that the discussion will be on the suspension of these five students. A campus where an elected student union body is existing, and if the administration will not give the right to the students, what is the point of having a great great debate on the democracy? Why can't the democracy is existing in inside our campus? And we are the people. We are not going on behalf of our part. We will be addressing the whole student community and denying the access. And I feel that itself is a big crime. And no administration should do that to the students. And on the then uh, at the background, we were continuing with our protest. The national committee were continuing our protest, and student union was actively participating in that. And on the 17th of the January. Rohit committed suicide. We cannot call this as a suicide. The influences or the bias and action by the administration was very clear from the beginning onwards. So we can call this one as the as the simply as the institutional murder because of the social boycott which applied by the University of Hyderabad on these students. And after the after the death. He stayed with the body for the 12 hours by asking the administration, especially VC, to come and give an explanation to address the students. What is the reason for the for the for the demise of our our beloved friend? But nothing happened, and the the university was even going back to a situation in which they called the police.
and police possibly taking the body, even doing a lot of charge. And it was really, really like pathetic what the administration said there. All over the world, condolences for the Roy Bengula was happening. But University of Hyderabad campus is the only place where there was no official condolence after the demise of the Roy Bengula. And still, it shows that how the Kasi's attitude towards the students is existing in our, in our campus. Even, even a continuous struggle for the rights, for the rights for the discriminated, for the, for the rights of the discriminated students or the marginalized section of the, of, the, of the society. And still, university administration following the same way of attitude towards the students. And we continued our struggle. The Jodashi Committee, which included all the around 50 or 14 organizations together, and, uh, struggled against such kind of the actions and, the, and to asking the justice for the North Club. And students union also taken an active part in that. And because of our protest, an FIR was filed against Professor V.C. Aparao and uh, Madan Rajatadri and other, other culprits who taken their part actively in the, in the death of the Rohit Babula. And the case was filed on the you know, scheduled cast and scheduled trial, atrocities, prevention of atrocities act, and abandonment of the suicide. And there was a, there was a lot, of, uh, lot of legal battle is going on and which didn't come to a final conclusion on that side. But the important point to note at this point of time is, several times, Professor Aparov approached the High Court for interim relief. And all the time, High Court denied that interim relief, but even though, he came back to the campus. And before, before, before coming to that, that situation, after a continuous struggle, when the university campus became a turmoil, he ran away from the campus. He even ran away from the country. country. And Professor Benisami came as an interim vice chancellor. And, and as you know, the student student activities and other co curricular uh, academic activities and the other co curricular activities are happening inside the campus. Even the protest for the justice for the Roit, which include the uh, enacting Roit, uh, like for, for asking for an act to avoid such kind of the discrimination in the higher educational institutions were going on. But Professor Aparavo Pudile could not take that fact that university is functioning smoothly in his absence. And, uh, and the, uh, Professor Perisami was trying his, to level, his level best to introduce the anti-discrimination cell and equal opportunity cell and Ombudsman and other several suggestions by the University Grant Commission to avoid the discriminations in the higher education institutions. And if it happens, our campus will be the part of the model institute for all over the country for the for such kind of the uh, regulations of the instructions followed completely as, a, as an institute. But he could not agree on that. And on the March 22nd, in a very secretive, secretive way, he resumed the office. And my only doubt is in the sense, when in BC come back, to the, come back and he resume his, post, uh, his office, who will be the first person to be informed? That should be the interim vice chancellor. But it was not happened. The, the news was given to the some fraction of the uh, some specific students from some specific organizations and some like-minded faculties. And, and that itself is a great shame for the University of Hyderabad Vice Chancellor Office. And hearing these news, many students marched to the VC's Lodge. Seeing already some students and some of the like-minded faculties inside the VC's Lodge, and even it was changing into a, a venue for the HMD Council meeting. 
and there was a there were some students there were there were students who were marched to the this is lord by asking justice for the roy kapila and when they, when the, these students reached there there was already some fraction of the students and how the university can deny the access for the fraction of the students how they and how the university can block some fraction of the students that's a, that again shows that how atrocious how discriminatory our administration is and and there was a uh, this leads to a commotion in which some damage to the property happened but the university of hyderabad gave the publicity by saying that great vandalism happened in said the campus and without even having a having a discussion on these points which we raised what is the reason for for uh, denying the access for some fraction of the students and how you can allow some fraction into the into the inside and when the police again came into the picture either at the initial time police said that they will be uh, they will be asking the professor prabhu to leave the pc floor but later on they came back and said that abrao instructed to remove the students from the from his pc pc compound like after after this crowd uh, the commotion the protest was really peaceful and the police asked the police to remove the students in the in the first room bay but at that point of time we asked the police only one question given explanation what is the reason for no arresting apro who were, who were booked under the under the case of the csd prevention of arrest this act and there was no explanation on that regard but instead of that police police were trying their level best to remove the students in the in a very very brutal way they unleashed their their highest fear of the brutality on the students and the great uh, gay women students were molested and some of the faculties uh, were beaten up and uh, even for the some of the students some of the women students got the rape threats from the uh, from the police and some of the minority students were selectively targeted by the by the uh, telangana police and meanwhile when the professor ratnam was in a department wise meeting in the political science department came into the venue venue to to avoid the attack on the students for that crime he also got arrested and he also got badly beaten up in and outside the in and outside the bank one of the senior women faculty who were trying to save professor ratnam and other students professors that the men other students also were dragged and beaten up but from the university of hyderabad side there was no there was no action on that but meanwhile the police arrested 24 students two faculties includes professor ratnam and dr tadal sanjukta and one media person but university of hyderabad were and the registrar itself is our custodian the all the students who came here to the campus the responsible person for the for the students and the faculty is is the registrar but there was no explanation from the registrar or the university administration on the incidents happened on the campus on that day and also how many students got arrested and there was no official information to the parents of the uh, of the arrested students or the family of the arrested faculties and that that the two students which include students union vice president migresh chauhan also got arrested and badly beaten up and ex students union president also present also uh, prashant also got arrested and in that way police unleashed their brutality in the maximum sense and on the 23rd of the march uh aprobo called some of the noticing staff into the into the staff leaders and closed the messes even denied the denied the water and other basic facilities for the students and he said the it shows that a democratic protest how it should be suppressed and what is the way of an administration 
ये काशी जा काशी जा एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन प्राइस टू सप्रेस द डेमोक्रेटिक एम डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोटेस्ट इनसाइड द कैंपसेस एंड दे दे इवन डिस्कनेक्ट टू द इंटरनेट टू अवॉइड द कांटेक्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स टू द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड बट स्टूडेंट्स वुड बी एबल टू रन सम ऑफ द मेसेज इन द इन द नॉर्थ कैंपस एंड द साउथ कैंपस and we even try to put the food in the public places what are the what are the senior uh, the, uh, uh, research scholar from the telugu department uday banu got uh, assaulted got harassed and uh, harassed and uh, attacked by the police for doing a crime that cooking the food in the public place and it was a time the university become a military camp military camp who there will not be any question and we even surprised that with the students have some kind of the rights inside this campus or are these civil refugees and the activities from the university of hyderabad administration shows that the rights will be will not be given to the students the lawyers or the doctors or the even parents of the of the students will not be given the permission to come inside But the Belvishes or the Apollo and other university administration will be accepted with the red carpet. And even great academicians who came here to the campus who was denied their denied their entry, and they were giving the gate speeches. Professor Yogendra Yadav, who addressed the meeting at the gate, were mentioning to the the gate speeches used to happen. in the factories and he pointed out that our university of hyderabad is also changing into a factory by denying the rights of the students in the same way the working class how they were suppressed and the university were denied the access for the media also by saying that university given an expression by putting the blame on the students by saying that some of the aggressive display of the students in the media but at the same time on the on the 23rd of the march 23rd march there was a scuffle at the main gate between the security staff and the media and that is the reason why abroad pudile denied the access for the media to come inside but for that one also the blame will be completely on the students several several times the clashes happening between the in between the students by asking what is the reason for closing the gates we would like to reiterate that we never ever closed our gates by taking the instruction from the university registrar our university administration only did only closed our gates to even to go the students to go out and interact with the uh, to the oral speakers for the great academicians and also to to have a have a dialogue with them and here also students union has as an elected body has all right to conduct academic discussions and debates inside our campus but when such a decision on the on the campus blockade were applied there should be prior notice to the students union and in that decision making big part children should, should be part party in that but that also was denied and later on the university administration was coming up with some of the wonderful ideas of deploying casf inside our campus as professor yavendra has said casf central industrial security force was the best force to give the security for a factory like university of hyderabad for a prison like university of hyderabad and they were giving the giving the suggestion of introducing a police outpost inside our campus this is the same place the whole university fraternity completely disagreed with the suggestion of introducing a police outpost and ugc itself withdrew that suggestion but unfortunately our bc approved to delay didn't get any information on that regard and still he is thinking that to reduce a police outpost 
is the best way to give the security for the students and to introduce CCTV cameras all over the campus. And what kind of the security they are trying to give? And we, the students' community, live inside this campus in a very peaceful way. Several times I feel that I am coming back to my home. And I got all the freedom to roam around the campus. But now they are giving the security for, uh, for, uh, for the students by putting police personnel all over the campus, by placing CCTV cameras, by deploying CSF. And this was the sessions came out in the team's meeting and the minutes are already, already out and you can proceed with that. And on the last 20, last, 6th of the April, the academic council meeting ha happened in, the, in, the, in our University of Hyderabad. In the 42 years of the university history, this will be the first time an academic council were conducted with the presence of good number of police. And you can't even imagine. And I was running, I myself and the Rajakumar Sahib, the general secretary, were running from with the, our ID card from the one police officer to the other police officer to get a permission to go inside to the academic house. And some are saying that my my ID card is a little old. I'm I'm in the campus for a long time in that. It's my photo from here. And they were saying that your photo is not clear. And you, cannot, you cannot get into the academic house. So in this way, they were completely denying the rights of the students. And in that academic council, if the same or university administration at some some point of time feeling that conducting that such kind of an academic council was a success. We had, to a, we had to give a great sympathy on them. Because in this way, by suppressing the words from the students and other, 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 other people, other university fraternity, you can run the administration. You can deploy a thousand police all over the campus because we are only 5,000 students and some of, the, some of the police officers, one can deal with the five at least, so those will be fine enough. So, in that way you can run. And on, on that day, control of the examination, Professor Krishna resigned from the, his post. And <laughs> by questioning Professor Aparao to delay how he can chair such an academic council. And we, the students union representative, President and General Secretary also, raises the same question and we walked out from the academic council meeting. <laughs> and also, and Professor Nandini Sundar from the Delhi University also raises the same question and along with that around 20, 20 faculties were raising the same question inside the academic council. But still, University of Hyderabad given a press note by saying that academic council happened in a very smooth way. <laughs> And what kind of the disturbances you require more to say that some issues happen inside the academic council? I don't know. I'm, I'm not aware of that. And here, here, it again and again proving that Aparav Pudile, how bad administrator he is, how he deals with the university fraternity and how he ran away from the campus when it was a turmoil and how he resumed his office and what secretive way he did it and what is the reason for asking the police official to remove the students in the possible way what is the reason for not giving any explanation for the students who got arrested and also the students, all the, also the faculties and in the, in the all this sense, and along with that, by introducing the police aid post, or deploying CASF, or introducing, CAS, uh, introducing CCTV cameras all over the campus, all these things together shows a administrator how he should not be. And we have a model, we have a model inside our campus, 
make is a model for the world the campus is inside our country well QGC and MHRD always came up with the crazy ideas and to introduce and to suppress the democratic riot, democratic protests happening inside their campus and I think we I presented the details or the issues happening inside our campus and we are entering into the, the time for the discussion and the discussion the time will be given for each, each person three minutes and I and I would like to be strict on the time that there will be three minutes and without the repetition you can put your points for the discussion and, the, and I request the students would like to give you a, give your valuable uh, suggestions on the discussion to give your names in a paper within five minutes of time and I want we, we cannot accept the, the names which will be given after five minutes once again I, uh, once again I request the students who would like to take part in the discussion to give their names in the paper within five minutes of time.